Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today's flute tip is on finding your tone with a new head joint. So if you have recently purchased a flute or you're going for a flute trial and you're going to try out a couple different flutes or you're going to a flute convention and trying out head joints, you need to find your own tone with that head joint. It can be pretty daunting to find that head joint and I have videos on how to choose a head joint or how to choose a new flute. But I want to talk specifically about when you have that flute up to your lip, how do you find whether that is the flute for you? So I think the common mistake is when you put that flute up to your lip, you just have a place. Here's where the flute goes. It's where it's comfortable. And here's my embouchure. I'm going to play. And you just play and you say, compare those with that embouchure. But I don't think you're doing justice to either to you or the head joint or flute that you're looking at or trying out. Because I think that you need to adjust to that head joint. That head joint might have a different cut. This head joint and um, the other head joint that I have right in front of me, they have different cuts in here. And because of that, I need to play them a little bit differently. I might want to think about uh, where aiming my air, where should I aim my air to get the tone that this flute can give me? Because with a different cut, I might want to aim my air differently. I might want to move it up on my lip a little bit. That definitely gave me a little different tone. I'm not sure that's where I'd want it, but that's why you have a flute trial and you take your flute uh, out and you play it and play it and play it for the many days that you have it and find the one that's right for you. So, This is, head joint is new to me, so I've been playing with it for a little bit, and I think right there was my best tone. And I feel that with my upper lip, I need to aim the air just a little bit differently across this strike edge to get the tone that it can give me. And the only then, when I know that tone, will I know uh, if that's the tone I want. Because if you don't experiment in your days of trialing that flute or that head joint, then you're not going to know, you know, a year later, what is the tone that that flute can give you. So this is a different cut of a head joint. <laughs> I haven't experimented quite as much with this one. Let me move it up a little bit. I think that moving it up just a little bit was a better spot for me. That's where I normally would want it to be. That feels most comfortable, but. I did aim the air a little bit differently as well, um, shaping my embouchure, and I feel like most of that change was in my upper lip, but definitely a little bit higher on my lip. I liked that sound better. And making sure I don't have very much pressure on my lip, so I, you know, almost feel like I pushed the lip plate out a little bit with my lip. And that 
gave me the more open sound, gave me the sound that this head joint could give me. So when you are looking for a flute or you're trialing a flute, find the sound that that flute can give you. Don't just use your normal embouchure and the one that you feel most comfortable with because, you know, you can change your embouchure and you can get comfortable playing with it a little higher on your lip or a little bit lower on your lip. It doesn't have to stay in one spot for the rest of your entire flute life. It can move and you want to find what gives you the best tone with that head joint and not be uh, just stuck with one spot because maybe a whole new world of tone could be opened up to you with the right head joint and you playing with it in the right spot. So enjoy trialing a flute and trialing some head joints and finding your tone with that head joint. That's today's flute tip.